Hello everybody and welcome to another one of our videos. So if you don't know what we do on this channel, it's like loads of little shoe reviews, loads of unboxings, comparisons. I just want to say welcome back to our channel and if you're joining us for the first time, thanks for joining us and I hope you stick around because there's plenty more to come on all things designer. Obviously by the title of this one, you're going to know that we're going to be reviewing one of the most premium sneakers on the market and it's the Chanel CC logo tennis sneaker and here it is. So this one is the grey white and neon pink colorway so getting into the shoe and we'll start with where i always like to start and that's like kind of like with the sole so the midsole on this one it's not high at all it's not low at all it's just a pretty generic sized midsole it doesn't give you much height at all but it is really comfy it's really soft it's made out of a rubber and it's really spongy and if you turn it over you've got the back which is made out of rubber the front which is made out of rubber and then you've got where the arch of your foot is you've got this like plastic um, piece basically and it just gives like comfort and support and just adds a bit more stability to when you're walking so if you look closer onto the sole you've got this kind of quilted tread and if you know anything about chanel and all the bags and that they have a lot of quilted bags so they've implemented the quilted style of the bags onto the shoe and then obviously you can't miss it you've got the big cc logo circled with a big black circle if we flip it over moving on to the upper part of the shoe and you've got again these premium qualities and basically it's just an all suede shoe with bits of leather on it as well but you've got this two-tone gray leather you've got the lighter gray which runs around the bottom of the shoe and then you've got this dark gray which runs around the top and on the tongue as well and if you feel it it's so soft and then you've got this premium again calfskin leather running across the bottom of the ankle where where like your ankles would go and then around the laces as well you've then got this ivory colored leather which runs across the top of the ankle part on the shoe finally you've got this neon pink it's kind of hard material to explain it's kind of like a felt it's quite soft and it's quite textured as well and this runs across only really thinly really discreetly across the front of the toe box and up into the middle of the laces so moving on to the little details of the shoe and obviously you've got this big cc logo in the middle of the shoe and it's only on the outside it's not on the inside and you've got this beautiful stitching which like obviously stitches it to the shoe but you can like really see it like on some designer shoes they try and blend the stitching where they make it the same color so you can't really see it this is more or less the same color but it's so like noticeable because the stitching is just so good that it just screams like classiness it screams elegancy the next little logo you've got on the front of the shoe where it says the cc at the bottom of the laces and then on the front of the toe cap you've got actually the whole world's whole world the whole word chanel written at the front it's probably not a shoe you should wear in the rain because it could get damaged it's not a shoe you want to get wrecked really especially because it's a lighter colored shoe any muck any dirt any raindrops that stay in the shoe it's going to be hard to kind of get it back to normal again so moving on to the size the fit the comfort of the shoe like most european shoes you are meant to downsize in these so these are a five and they fit like a six so if you've got alexander mcqueen's balenciaga triple s you'll know what to do really it's just the same fitting as that comfort wise you've got like i said the plastic on the bottom of the shoe which adds support adds comfort adds a bit more stability to you and then you've got this really padded tongue and then you've got the really padded ankle bit as well and it just makes it again just more comfortable for when you're walking so the overall look the overall quality i would say as i've been saying it through the whole of the video it's just classy it's elegant it's quality it is just one of those shoes that you look at and it catches your eye again especially with the neon pink in it facts about chanel shoes each and every single one of them is handmade so that is why you don't really see as many of them like the alexander mcqueen's your balenciaga triple s they're all factory made so they can mass produce them with these they can be mass produced but not in the quantities of alexander mcqueen so they are a bit harder to get hold of chanel don't actually sell them on the website you can only get them in chanel stores and then there's places like personal shoppers and personal shopping websites that buy them all and then literally they're sold out on chanel and then they just bump the price up of them so these retail like they're only 580 680 pounds and i say only and that's because when personal shoppers get hold of them they bump the prices right up and sell them for like eight nine even a thousand over a thousand pounds i think i watched a video last night and the fella said he bought them for 1200 pounds that is almost double what they are retail 
And I get that they are in demand and you can't really get them anywhere. But to me, 1200 pounds for a shoe is just ridiculous. So what I want you to do is comment down below what you think of the Chanel shoe. I know it is really expensive. To be honest, from Chanel, you don't expect anything else. So I want you in the comments to say if it's worth buying a Chanel sneaker. So that has been the Chanel sneaker review. Please remember to like the video, share it to as many people as you can. Remember to subscribe because we've got so many more videos on the way. Head over to our Instagram page, see all the latest items that we have in. Give us a message if you want any advice on anything designer. Head over to our TikTok for some advice, info, tips on all things designer. There's some funny videos on there as well. So thanks for watching and we'll be back really soon.